Hello viewers, welcome to Career Guidance DSP playlist. So in this video we are going to see about product quantization error. That is, the, in the problem, in the IR system the products are rounded to 4 bits including the sign bit. So for this the transfer function is, for this the transfer function is 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.35 into z power minus 1 into 1 minus 0 0.62 into z power minus 1 find the output round of noise power in the direct form realization that is the direct form realization it's a very simple uh, the relation to find the output noise power here uh, there are uh, two poles when you realize it in direct form 1 definitely you may have two products you may have the two products that two products is assume uh, these two products are considered to be an error term it is summed and it is summed the it is summed so that you have the two error terms that is direct form that is the realization by using the direct form first find the quantization noise so you know the uh, relation to find the quantization noise sigma e square is equal to q square by 12 q is equal to r divided by 2 power b so b is nothing but the binary the length of the binary including the sign bit here in this problem the r value is not given so you have to choose the r value from minus 1 to plus 1 volt so that r is equal to 2 which is equal to 2 divided by 2 power 4 which is equal to divide uh, 2 by 2 power 4 it is equal to 1 by 8 it is equal to 0 0.125 then find the quantization variance sigma e square is equal to 0 0.125 square divided by 12 is equal to 1.302 into 10 power minus 3 so we found the the noise quantization noise variance as 1.302 into 10 power minus 3 Next, you know the relation to find the output noise variance of the system that is sigma e o square is equal to sigma e square divided by 2 pi j the contour for the z transform that is the unit circle h of z h of z inverse into z inverse d z. So, I am going to uh, use this uh, residue that is uh, as an i into i so i am going to use the variable as an i for this uh, integral function to find the output so how to find the i so uh, how to find the i by residuals by residuals you have to find the i that is summation i is equal to 1 to n that is the number of poles h of that is the residuals of h of z h of z inverse z inverse that is the i. So from the equation you have to find the h of z. That is uh, h of z is 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.35 z inverse 1 minus 0 0.62 into z inverse. I am just taking uh, z inverse common outside that is z inverse common outside the 1 by z inverse is equal to that is the z inverse common is z minus 0 0.35 again z inverse common outside z minus 0 0.62 so z inverse z power minus 2 and is equal to z square divided by z minus 0 0.35 into z minus 0 0.62 next i am going to find z h of z inverse so h of z inverse is nothing but you just apply the inverse z power minus 2 divided by z power minus 1 minus 0 0.35 z power minus 1 minus 0 0.62 again i am taking the z power minus 1 common outside z power minus 2 z power minus 1 common outside 1 minus 0 0.35 that is uh, 0 0.35 into z 
again z power minus 1 into 1 minus 0 0.62 into z that is uh, z power minus 1 and z power minus 1 into z power minus 1 z power minus 2 and this 2 get cancelled it is equal to 1 minus 0 0.35 z and then 1 minus 0 0.62 into z again I am just taking minus 0 0.35 common outside that is equal to z minus 1 by 0 0.35 1 by 0 0.35 is 2.85 again I am taking minus 0 0.62 common outside it is z minus that is uh, 1 by 0 0.62 and it is equal to 1.613 I am just multiplying it that is uh, 0.35 into uh, minus 0.35 into minus 0.62 it is 0 0.217 into z minus 2.85 into z minus 1.613 after simplification it is one that is a 1 by 0 0.27 it is a 4.608 divided by z minus 2.857 2.857 into z minus 1.613 next multiply the term h of z that is i is equal to h of z h of z inverse and z inverse h of z is z square divided by z minus 0 0.35 z minus 0 0.62 it is multiplied by h of z inverse it is 4.608 divided by z minus 2.857 into z minus 1.613 and is multiplied by z inverse. So now after simplification, uh, the i value is equal to that is uh, z power minus 1 z power minus 1 into z square that is z into 4.608 divided by z minus 0 0.35 into z minus 0 0.62 z minus 2.857 and z minus 1.613 here the poles are here the poles are 0 0.35 0 0.62 and then 2.857 and 1.613 so for residuals for applying the residuals you have to take the poles it should be in the within the unit circle so for applying the residuals you have to choose the poles inside the unit circle that is 0 0.35 and 0 0.62 so that the integral value that is the residual value is is for this z minus 0 0.35 into z into 4.608 divided by z minus 0 0.35 into z minus 0 0.62 z minus 2.857 into z minus 1.613 so this is for for the poles this is for the poles z is equal to 0 0.35 plus plus for the next pole that is z minus 0 0.62 z into 4.608 divided by the same z minus 0 0.35 z minus 0 0.62 z minus 2.857 z minus 1.613 for the poles z is equal to 0 0.62 so substitute z is equal to 0 0.62 that is this will get cancelled and this will get cancelled substitute z is equal to 0 0.35 and substitute z is equal to 0 0.62 the answer is the answer is 2.8769 then the total noise is that is the output uh, noise e was square is equal to sigma e square into i.
that is uh, sigma e square value you know the sigma e square value the sigma e square value is we already know we already found the sigma e square value is 1.302 into 10 power minus 3 that is 1.302 into 10 power minus 3 into 2.8769 and the output value is 3.74 into 10 power minus 3 so to find the total system noise power that is sigma e o total square that is here uh, we have the two error signal the two error signal that is a e1 of n and the e2 of n so that multiply that is a, uh, for the two error signal the output uh, noise is the noise variance is same that is 2 into 3.74 into 10 power minus 3 that is equal to 7.49 into 10 power minus 3 that is the total system noise power is equal to 7.49 into 10 power minus 3 so I just uh, summarize the problem uh, this is the uh, problem uh, this is the code word effect of code one uh, length due to product quantization error so for this IR system uh, for 4 bit uh, including the sign bit uh, find the round of noise power in direct form realization so in direct form realization first the quantization noise variance is equal to q square by 12 q is equal to range divided by 2 power b it is a binary length of the binary including the sign bit if the range is not given choose the ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 r is equal to so that q is equal to 2 by 2 power 4 is equal to 0 0.125 so from this the error variance is 1.302 into 10 power minus 3 and similarly the output noise variance of the system is equal to sigma e square the the closed contour h of z h of z inverse z inverse into dz so i'm going to use the variable for this integral value by residuals by residuals i am going to solve the closed contour integral so for this i am found the h of z value and h of z inverse value so after finding the h of z and h of z inverse value I am just multiplying this h of z, h of z inverse with the z inverse. From that I found the poles. For residuals you have to choose the poles which lies inside the unit circle. So that my poles are 0 0.35 and 0 0.62. Then one pole is for 0 0.35 and adding it the another pole is 0 0.62. For these two poles at z is equal to 0 0.35 and for z is equal to 0 0.62 the value is 2.8769 and finally uh, system variance is equal to sigma e square into i uh, we have already found the error variance as 1.302 into 10 power minus 3 into 2.8769 3.74 into 10 power minus 3 here through filter uh, two filter coefficient so the two error terms so that total system round of noise power is equal to 2 into 3.74 into 10 power minus 3 and it is equal to 7.49 into 10 power minus 3. So thanks for uh, listening. Thank you so much. For uh, more problems, subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.